Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, and this is Short and Sweet, where we give you an exercise tip and a nutrition tip to make sure that you stay healthy and strong. Today, we're going to work on those inner thighs, and with our nutritional tip, I'll tell you all about that later. Now, when we work on those adductors, they're called those inner thigh muscles. Why do we do that? Well, first of all, I get asked about it all the time, but when we work out, we seem to neglect them. The thing is this, those adductors keep you walking in a straight line. You, yes, they do. They stabilize and strengthen your uh, legs, your glutes, your lower back, your hips. They really work. They do a lot of work for you. So we're going to work a little bit on those today. All right, and let's get started. I'm going to lay on my back. Okay, now this is a pretty easy workout, so I think you'll be fine with this, okay? I'm going to lay down here. Good. Now, I always like to rock right and left a little bit to make sure that my back and, and uh, my shoulders all feel good. And I always want to keep them nice and open, right? And I'm going to bring my legs up and my abs are engaged. I'm going to bring my heels together. Now, my legs need to come up here a little bit higher. I'm going to pretend like I have a plate on top of my feet. So my feet are, toes are pointed back towards me. My feet are flat to the ceiling. Okay, and my knees are bent. Now I'm just going to push those feet up to the ceiling, straighten those knees. Remember, I got a plate on them, so I can't like knock that all over the place. I got to be careful with that. And just squeeze those legs together. Keep the heels together and push those feet up to the ceiling. All right, good. And your abs are engaged. You're going to take those legs down and push them up. Oh, good. I know this seems like real easy, but you try it, right? <laughs> You get to feel that inner thigh, that's for sure. So if you have any question about where we're working, just do some of these and then you'll know. Isn't that right? All right, so here we're going to do about two more. Keep those abs engaged and that plate on those feet. And there's our last one. Good. Now getting up, just roll it over and push up. Okay. Now for our nutritional tip today, we're going to talk about fasting. Now, I might have heard a lot about it because it's really popular thing to do right now because not only does fasting help you digest your food fully but it'll help you burn that fat and create energy and it really works to improve your health and your longevity it increases longevity for your life so it has a lot of benefits to it but of course if you have any health conditions you always want to see a doctor first but here's some tips when you want to fast well first let me tell you about this about fasting so if you stop eating at say seven o'clock then you want to maybe eat your breakfast at 7 in the morning so you have a 12-hour fast. Now that's where your food will be completely digested at that point in time. And your eating window will be a little bit uh, less than what you might be used to. So you want to think about that eating window and keep it into a short period of time. Now if you want to actually turn that fat into energy and increase your health, longevity, blah, 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 blah then you want to increase that fasting window from 12 to 14, maybe 16. 16 hours, okay? So if you do that in a 16 hour fast, that means your eating window is eight hours. When we eat all the time, if we're eating like all day long, you know, our body never has a chance to digest the food, nor does it have a chance to burn the glucose out of the body, and we never then get to the fat. So, if we shorten that eating window, then we can start burning that glucose, digesting that food, and burn that fat. So there's a lot of good things for fasting. And I'm just going to be real quick here. Here's a few tips why you do that. Drink a lot of water and herbal teas. Try to make your food really worthwhile so that it's full of protein, healthy fats, and fiber. And eat lots of fiber. Okay, I know we harp on that, but it's real important. You don't want to, you want to avoid strenuous exercise. Doesn't mean you can't work out. Just this means you don't want to be too crazy about it, okay? Maybe you want to plan some distractions so you're not obsessing about food. And lastly, eat fiber. 
<laughs> All right. Now, you know why I do this. I do this to make you healthy and strong so that you can have a long, long, healthy, active lifestyle, right? Yeah. Now, I want you to come back and visit us. It's short and sweet. And in the meantime, you can visit me at Vigor and Trim, our new membership fitness site. It's for health and fitness for people over 50. I look to see you then. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.